exercise is called a side plank. In this particular type of plank, we're working the abs and butt, but we're only working the side that's facing down closest to the floor. So it's a good way to increase your strength and make sure both sides are working well. The proper form for this is to get on your side with the elbow directly underneath the shoulder. That centers the head of the humerus in the proper place so you can't injure yourself. In a beginner plank, we do it with the knees slightly bent. What you want to do is give yourself a big wedgie by squeezing the butt cheeks together and then pull the abs in and come up onto the knees. Try to keep your posture so that you're directly sideways and the hips are stacked over each other. Keeping a good squeeze on the butt, you're going to start to feel that maybe on the lower abdominal area on the side that's facing the floor. Holding for anywhere from 15 seconds up to 30 seconds and then taking it down, turning over and doing the other side. That's the beginner side plank. In a straight legged side plank, we have more body weight on those two muscle groups. So with the legs straight, it's a little bit harder. Again, give yourself that big wedgie, pull the belly button in, come up into your side plank, keeping a good squeeze. You should not have any pain up here in the shoulder at all. Keeping everything engaged, you're gonna to start to feel that again in that lower abdominal muscle on the side facing the floor. You can bring the arm up straight overhead. You can also bring the foot up which makes this a little bit harder to do. And hold it for a certain amount of time. No more than two minutes on a side plank, probably 15 seconds to a minute is a good time frame to get your abs and butt strong on that side you're working on. And then repeat on the other side. 